learn about squares. How can we square a number? It is easy. Just multiply the number with itself. You can also write square in the superscript. This tells 4 is multiplied twice which is equal to 16. Let us read. 1 square is 1. 2 square is 4. 3 square is 9. 4 square is 16. 5 square is 25 and so on. We can also find squares on the multiplication table. Do you know what do we call these numbers? They are called perfect squares. The perfect squares are the squares of the whole numbers. Can we think of the square of a negative number? Yes, why not? Negative numbers can also be squared. See, when we square a negative number, we get a positive number. Suppose we have both same positive and negative number. If we square both of them, the result will be the same. That was really interesting thing to know. Let us know about square roots now. We can easily find the squares of small numbers like 7, 4, 5, etc. But is it easy to find the square of 27 so quickly? Let us find how we may find the square root of 27. We know 27 is a sum of 20 and 7. Therefore, a square of 27 is equal to 20 plus 7 whole square is equal to 20 into 20 plus 7 plus 7 into 20 plus 7, which is equal to 20 square plus 20 into 7 plus 7 into 20 plus 7 square, which is equal to 400 plus 140 plus 140 plus 49, which is equal to 729. Square root is an inverse operation of squaring. It is a value that can be multiplied by itself to give the original number. So we can say when 4 is multiplied by 4, we get 16, which means 4 is a square root of 16. A square root is represented by a special symbol. It is called the radical. We can use it like this. A square root of 25 is 5. Can you tell which of the following is a perfect square? Try again. Well done. Can you identify the square root of 81? Well done. We can find the square root of a given number using repeated subtraction method. It is really easy. Consider the square root of 81. Just subtract successive odd numbers from 81, starting from 1 till the difference becomes 0. So you have noticed it took 9 steps to get the difference as 0. Therefore, the square root of 81 is 9. Now we will try to find the square root of a number by prime factorization method by following some steps. First of all, find the prime factors of the given number. Now make pair of similar factors. After that, choose one prime factor from each pair and find their product. So the product thus obtained is the square root of the given number. For large numbers, the prime factorization method of finding square root becomes difficult. So we use long division method. Let us look at the steps. First of all, draw lines over pairs of digits from right to left. Next, find the largest square number less than or equal to the first group, that is 40. Since 36 is less than 40, so we take 6 as the divisor and 6 as the quotient. Now subtract 36 from 39. After that, bring down the next bar, that is 96, to the right of the remainder. Now double the divisor. Next, think of the largest digit, which is also taken as the next digit of the quotient, such that 